Hi everyone, it's Jackie schomburg Um, Have you ever felt really far away from yourself? Like you remember a distant image or a distant feeling of what you used to feel like um, one year ago, one month ago, 10 years ago, and you just can't relate to that person anymore. Um, not because you've grown and, and expanded in your life, but because you just feel distant and you feel far from who you are. Um, have you lost your oomph and you're just living life like, nah, here I am, it's Tuesday. I guess I'll do this on Tuesday. Um, and there's not a lot of sparkle and there's not a lot of joy. Um, I have felt that way. I many times in my life, but the most recent was when, right, I was home with three very young kids for several years and was isolated, couldn't really go anywhere because I couldn't have all three of my kids. I only have two hands and they were all very young and <laughs> it was, they're all runners. Uh, so it was a whole stressful activity to even leave the house. Um, I would think back to who I was when I was single in my 20s and early 30s, like, wow, that girl was up for adventure. She was really spontaneous and was up for anything. And then at that point in my life, I was up for nothing because the thought of even getting my kids into the car to go someplace was beyond what I could handle um, for various reasons. But um, it's a, not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling to think, oh my gosh, that person that I was, was so vibrant and alive and um, living, right? Not just surviving, but living. Well, I found myself again through many things, therapy, <laughs> um, going out and being with my friends, and also this process that I'm gonna show you today. Um, this process of making art for the sake of the process of making art. So for the sake of smashing your brush through paint or cutting up uh, magazine images and pasting them down in different, different arrangements. This is very lowercase a art, right? We're not looking for museum quality anything. There's no wrong way to do this. You don't have to worry about composition rules. You don't have to worry about what colors go together. This process art is specifically related to what feels good to you and what feels good to you in that very moment that you're making it. So it's a very much an exercise in being present, in honoring your impulses and your joy for what colors you choose, what, um, what motions you make, what marks you make on the paper because of what you want to feel in that moment and discovering what feels good not what necessarily looks good, because it might end up being a whole big mess on the paper, but that's okay, because it's about the process and the act of making the art. The demo that I'm gonna do today is uh, collage. I'm gonna use collage as my art making form, but the process uh, of process art that I teach in my workshops is the same, okay? Just the type of art will change. So this year, I'm going to have two free uh, workshops that are going to be collage workshops. This is the first time I've done collage in my free workshops, but I want to show you and remind you that even if you haven't done collage before, if you can attach two pieces of paper to one another, that's all you need to fully participate. So if you can take a piece of paper and glue it to another piece of paper, if you have scotch tape, you can tape it to another piece of paper. You even have to, really don't even have to tape it or affix it to anything. You can just lay it out and arrange it and just leave it as temporary. Anything you want to do is fine. So I wanted to give you an opportunity today to preview what those free workshops will look like and what we'll be doing in the five week collage workshop series in the fall. Okay. Um, what else did I want to say? The process itself. So the process is uh, three to four parts. The first one is stating an intention. An intention is just claiming something that you want as if you already have it. So if I'm feeling restless and chaotic, I may say I am calm because I want to feel calm. I might say I'm joyful, I'm thankful. Whatever it is that you want to be or feel, 
that's just what you write as your intention. You just claim that. The next part is the art making process. That is the gluing paper down and arranging things and choosing the colors and the images you want to include in your collage. The third step is called witness writing. It's just stream of consciousness journaling. So write whatever's in your brain, write it on paper, keep your pen moving the entire five to 10 minutes. It's not a huge time commitment and uh, write it down. No one will ever have to see it. You can throw it away as soon as you write it, but just get that brain dump onto paper. The fourth step is optional and that's sharing. So there will be an opportunity to share at the end. And in this video, I will share what I wrote. Um, and that's it. It's a very simple process. It sounds incredibly, um, well, just simple. It doesn't seem like it would produce anything uh, powerful in any way. But I have a lot of folks that have gone through this process with me that have had major um, aha moments, for lack of a better term, as a result of just taking this moment, being with themselves, listening to themselves. We don't take enough time to just truly listen to what we are telling ourselves. And uh, a lot of us would be better off if we did listen to ourselves more. Okay, so take an opportunity to watch this video. Um, I hope it's helpful to give you an overview of what my workshops are like. This is just me working. In the workshops, you'll work side by side via Zoom with other people who are going through the exact same process at the same time. And uh, those workshops will take place on Saturday, July 22nd and September 9th, also a Saturday from 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Chicago time. And those are both free. They'll be collage based. So start setting aside some old magazines if you wanna to come to those and just to have those handy. And you can sign up at www.jackieschaumberg.com slash workshops. You probably didn't need the www, but you got it. <laughs> um, and then those are uh, to give you a, um, to have you participate in the workshop to see if it's something that you wanna do more of. And if it is, I also have a five week workshop series that will be starting also collage based. They'll be starting uh, the week after that September workshop. So September 15th and 16th, Friday and a Saturday, depending on which uh, night or day you'd like to choose. And those will be uh, five week sessions. Okay, I will include some links in the description. I will include some links in the video. I would love to see you for any of those. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, send me an email. Whatever way you need to get a hold of me, please do. And I hope to see you soon. All right, so as I mentioned, the first thing I'm doing here is writing an intention. In this case, I wrote, I am restful, I am open, I feel my shoulders soften, I relax and take deep breaths. I am safe. I hadn't gotten more than 12 seconds into this video and my kids interrupted me. So that's why it's a little bit shaky um, or glitchy looking. So I started taking out some handmade papers and decided against it. I wanted to make this demo as close to what we'll be doing in the workshops, including the free workshops as possible. So, I'm just taking magazine pictures that I had pulled out at one point or another and some catalogs and I'm just dividing the papers into what I like and appeals to me in the moment and which ones I don't think I'll be using and putting the rest away. So now I'm taking the pile that I've liked and then going through it again to decide what I want to use first. With collage, um, sometimes it can feel intimidating to people who are new to it because there's so much visual stimulation coming from all the pictures. There's a lot of visual input. Um, I totally get that. The nice thing about it from a beginner perspective is that all of the work is done for you. You don't have to draw anything. You don't have to 
invent anything. Um, all of whatever you're finding, you're just using these found images to make something. And that something doesn't have to be something like you're not making a picture of a ballerina or something like that. You could, but that's not what we're going to be doing. You're just looking for things that look pleasing to you. So I took a section of that girl's curly hair, um, these like telephone cord kind of hair ties, I guess. You know, that picture that someone else drew for that magazine. And I'm just laying these out just to get a sense of what I like, where I like it. Most of collage from a magazine perspective for the purposes of our workshop, we'll just be cutting out things that are appealing to us. I happen to cut these out in like squares and rectangles. You can tear it out. You can cut it out in any shape you want. Um, and rearranging them to see how you like them. That's it. And then you can glue it. You can use a glue stick. Um, you can use gloss medium, which is what I end up using here. Or you can just use tape. So in terms of supplies, this is as user friendly as it gets because all of your colors are already there. So if you don't like a color, you probably didn't pick that section to include in your collage. Easy peasy. And you don't have to think about themes or anything else. We're keeping this simple. It's just whatever appeals to you in the moment. It doesn't have to make sense. Not even to you. It doesn't have to make sense. And I'm just moving things around. That is that black piece is a handmade paper that was just out. Um, I ended up not using it, but I wanted to see what it looked like with a dark color there. I'm putting the papers behind my sketchbook page because I'm messy with my gloss medium. And since I'm getting ready to glue things down, I wanted just to make sure I didn't glue the pages together. All right, so I'm using a color shaper just because that's what I like to do. You can use your fingers, you can use a paintbrush, whatever you want. Whatever your preferred gluing method is, go with that. And when I slid these off, I kept them in a similar, uh, similar fashion to what I had laid out in the first place. But often I'll end up just rearranging everything as I go on the fly. And sometimes I'll start gluing when I find my first image and then just keep gluing as I find other ones. There's no wrong way to do it. My preference changes from day to day depending on what I find. I really enjoy the process of seeing all the images come together and Right? I mean, there's nothing here that says, oh, these go together, right? I don't think anyone would accuse me of, of uh, you know, stacking the deck and rearranging things so that it seemed easy, but it wasn't. I just went through, selected the things that I liked looking at that I thought would look nice together. And that's what I'm putting together here. I cut that piece into a little rainbow shape just to make it different, just to make it not a square or a rectangle piece. I still wanted something in that bottom right corner. So went back to my pile. Dark blue didn't make sense in my mind. And I decided to take this green from right in the middle of that page this feather duster. And because these are all, this is old magazines, you don't want to use your magazines that you've been saving for somebody or something that's very important to you. But nothing's precious here. 
These are old magazines. If I glue something down and don't like it, I can glue something else right on top of it. No pressure whatsoever. So I hope you're seeing that this is not, you know, we're not working on museum quality art here. We are working on what can we do in a specific amount of time just to get something out on paper and then to write down our thoughts. Could be about the art, could be about our day. Um, when we do this witness writing, we're just talking about kind of witnessing ourselves and witnessing what we've made, witnessing how we're feeling right now. So when I wrote this, I wrote, basically I wrote a reflection of what I saw in this collage. So I wrote fresh, bouncy, joyful, happy, summer barbecue vibes, a narrow slice of fresh corn, party lights, hair ties that could be donuts or pool floats, fresh curls, blue and white china, party people, good friends, tropical drinks, bendy straws. When did summers begin to feel so difficult? So much to do having kids and sweating all the time. No coats equals great. So much sweat equals not so great. A slice of the good life, wrinkles and crumbs and all. And that's it. So in the workshops, we have an opportunity to either share some of what we've written, all of what we've written, or none of what we've written. So you never have to share, but I strongly encourage it because there's something special about having other people witness what you've written and along with seeing your art. So if this sounds like something you'd like to do as a form of self-reflection, um, getting to kind of shake off the dust and spend some time with yourself. We don't spend enough time with ourselves. And this is one way that you can stop for a minute, listen to the voices inside you without the distraction of podcasts and TV and radio and all of the things that are fun and distracting. Um, but just taking a moment to appreciate creating something that didn't exist before you started and what your reaction was to that. If you have any questions, please uh, leave questions in the comments or send me an email. And you can also go find all the details of the workshop at JackieSchaumberg.com slash workshops. I'll put a link uh, in the corner here and I will put links in the description as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you uh, receive more videos and receive notifications when I post them. So please hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you soon.